way to look at the technique is not to look at the extremity, but what the core movement is. A lot of times people kind of neglect that idea of what is the core movement. For instance, um, when you're making a reverse punch, a lot of times people are thinking about the movement in their arm, but the really, the, the technique is more initiated to your core, like if you're making a reverse punch, there's that, that feeling in your core first. You follow what I'm saying? That is actually the technique, I think that's actually more a part of the technique than, say, the pushing out of your arm. Like the core movement, that, that you know, that's, okay, so when you're making this technique, there are two kind of core movements. The front kick is this feeling. I'm kind of sitting on this, almost like I'm putting my rear end in a chair and kind of kicking forward. The second core movement is, is this feeling in my body. So if you want to maybe, when you're practicing, kind of think of the core movement, like the, the, the hip, hip inflection, hip inflection, kick. Okay. Like hip inflection, kick. But it's like, Does that make sense? So these inflections in your center are more part of the technique than just the pushing out of your leg. Does that make sense? Give it a try and maybe just think about the very initiation of the